I was looking for a general store to go to, but there isn't one close by. You look somewhat oh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna fast travel to when I arrive to Dutch. I had some outlaws after me. I had to come a different way, uh, a more dangerous way. Hey, we don't need that shit. All right, all over the don't place. get all worked up. Yeah. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards, Arthur. Cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we, our community. We will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well, then there maybe ain't we no can. Freedom for no one in this country, no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more. That's train. always a goddamn train. Arthur, <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave <laughs> the poetry of it all what do you think it sounds wonderful hell i ain't got much to lose but you gotta do what's right and cut some loose john and his family I I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. Huh? Now. Are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. <laughs> we have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists upon it. He insists. <laughs> Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I hid the wagon down here after we blew the bridge. 
This is one big goddamn group of us to be riding back into San Denis. Yeah. I heard the Pinkertons have pretty much taken over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Changing these angles. Why is my internet not working? Should be just through these trees. There it is. I'll get the dynamite. No, I can do it. Sure, I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. I'm gonna cough on it and explode. How many sticks do we need? Oh, just that. Got it. All right. Let's get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. You think this is gonna work? Who knows? I don't trust nothing no more. <laughs> that mess in the oil factory. I swear he looked me in the eye and walked away. Like with me in the bank. But listen, Abigail just told me the money. It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. So much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Okay, well, let's get through this job and make a plan. Get the money and get the hell out of here. You, Abigail, and Jack go live your life. And you? I reckon head out west, someplace dry. See if I can shake this goddamn cough. <laughs> First, we got one last train, John. One last train. Famous last words. Oh. Actual cutscene now. Keep this entourage. Got everything? Yeah. Then off we go. Off we go indeed. One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. Look at this. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. So long as it isn't Burma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. All coming together, Dutch, just like we planned. Is that okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. I'm like, I'm holding square, and she like ran into the back of me. There's too many people for us not to be suspicious. I'm like, yeah, one, two, three, four. That's like eight people here on our horseback. Twelve, I think. I counted correctly. All right. Cleet, Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest you. Follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here 
here she comes. <laughs> Arthur looks like he's about to die. God damn it. Well, everybody mount up. We're still going through with this. Of course we are. <laughs> Catch the train. Let's get it, Farrah. We gotta get on that train. That's what I'm trying to do. Where's my rope at? Come on, pop back out, sir. I hate that good reload. John, move, sir. You're dead. I'll make short work of you yet. How you doing there, Arthur? I'm okay. Push up on him. Right back here. Ah oh, man, he got right in the way. Why aren't you shoot? Come on. It's time to finish it. Okay. This gun loads faster, so not loads fast, but reloads faster. Okay, screw this. Goodness, that reload time. Just that slow. Did he get back up? No. Maybe? No. Oh, 
back and shoots him, of course. Wait a minute. Look out on the back. That's what I'm doing. How the hell are you selling you, little lady? Watch your goddamn mouth. Ah. I was completely missing that guy. I'm not trying to take out the horses. This money's here. Come on! The money should be in the front carriage. I'm mad I was missing that guy. Okay, quick. Let's blow up over. Let's go! The money's in there. Alright, I need this better. Blow this thing. Um, where's the dynamite? I don't know what the dynamite is. Well, they'd be under a weapon, right? Oh, right there. <laughs> Hurry up, partner. We ain't got a whole lot of track left. Ha. Here we go. Yep, let's go get back, get back. Here we go. Probably filled with nothing. Move. At least look inside. 
Where's John? I tried. Hmm. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on. Let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha! Ha! Spoiler alert. Oh, I wasn't trying to skip it. I was just trying to... I forgot it was a cutscene still. I was trying to build up speed and make it on through. Red Dead Redemption. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, she's just baked. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Uh, Micah, uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur, but he's right. Hutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Well, I guess that's that, then. All them goddamn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here, take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. Just get out of here and go live your life, Mrs. Dunn. All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss... Nah, nah, don't start with all that. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler. Let's ride out. Ride with me. Where are we going? If they're putting her on a boat, they'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. I don't know where we're going. So, I don't want to hit the X button, Sadie. Whoa! I think you're gonna need those bullets, Arthur. I hit the wrong button. It was L2. Oh boy. I just messed up on conversation right there. not trying to um, <laughs> shoot I saw a two up there and I was like oh R2 pow no I thought I put this thing away there we go ooh that would have sucked house 
saying that man was too poor. I've taken from him was no different from the system we was fighting against. Now, he don't care who dies, so long as he and Micah get rich off of him. Micah is a goddamn sickness. But, John said, Abigail knows where the money's hidden. If we can get to her in time, we might be able to get to it before they do. <coughs> okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Because you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something. And cover me. Please. Okay. I'm gonna miss a lot of sight. A lot of shots. Missing left and right. We're gonna get up here and start coughing. Coughing. Not the Pokemon. <laughs> coughing. Where is she at? Maybe does it go to the tippity top? There's no way. Or is it? Yeah, there is no. It's telling me I'm not there. I can't go any higher. Am I missing something? Oh, I actually can go in here. All right. Whenever I see locked doors. There you are, you bastard. Like his right nostril, how the sun is shining through it. from behind her? Oh, this guy. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, come on. There's somebody else shooting. Where's she shooting at? Oh, these gentlemen. I thought somebody was behind me. Move, Sadie, move. Like, 
Like, once she's in there, she's all by herself. Shit. Okay, Mr. Milton. I guess we're gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. We should die first. Cover. Oh, we, we got him, we got him, we got him. Oh, come on, shoot! Arthur! Don't I have any more bullets? Oh, what is he doing? Okay, let me get some more of That's the bad area. Because he wasn't shooting. This dude in this house up here. Kill him already? I guess not. What is cover transition? He 
this here just for the bye bye. No bullets, that's cool. Kick down the door. be dead sure but I'm gonna be just fine we offered you a deal mr. Morgan you should have taken it I'm a fool mr. Milton not all you boys have quite so many scruples old Micah Bell Micah you mean Molly Molly O'Shea sweated her a couple of times never talked a word had to let her go Micah Bell we picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. And he's been a good boy ever since. Okay. Okay. Missing your strength, Mr. Morgan. Do the yapping dog, Mr. Mill. of you. We're back on the road again. Find the horses. I need to. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? He's fine. Still he's got him. <laughs> oh, thank God. Farrah. Abigail, you ride mine. Oh, wait a minute. What are you doing? Get on, Arthur, sir. Get on. You'll be okay. I don't have any more bullets. Get a shotgun. Wait a minute. Time. 
What happened to John? Where's John? I, I don't know. Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Listen. No. We got Jack. He's safe. Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. Now, you gotta go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. What? Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat before I get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two, not now. You both know. <laughs> I gotta go settle some things. For me, no one else. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. Abigail Roberts. I always was a good thief. That you was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. <sighs> <clears throat> How's my health looking right now? Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, all of you. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry, we ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. Oh. We all need to have a little chat. Blacklong, you're back, hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about that, you rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think of the future. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. 
It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? You pick your side now because this is over. All them years, Dutch. For this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No. You be quiet, Mr. Bell. And put down your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! <laughs> Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. He's lying. Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is eight o'clock, but we have eight to the agency. Put your guns down! Read out your weapons now! We have it, John! We gotta go! Come on! Oh, you're gorgeous! All of you, hold the right side! I don't want to shoot the horse. Can you not run, Arthur? Follow John. Oh crap, where'd he go? Keep going! Those bastards left me for dead! Seems that's what they do now! There they are! They can't Let's see. Let's go, Arthur! Push! John Milton Toby. Uh -oh. We should have killed him months ago. Stay with me, Arthur. I see him over here. You don't see anything, dude. We're like right behind a rock. <laughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Come on, Arthur. With me. Whoa! I thought I fell off. What about the money? It's in here. There's no time. We'll have to come back. They're right on us, Arthur. Come on. Arthur, you go up first. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead Land. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Let's go! 
completely missed that guy. Oh, we get back on the horses. No. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on. Push Arthur. Thank you. Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Me. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Arthur. I'm coming with you. I'll get you out of this bullshit. It's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Uh, that was like a no-brainer. Oh, oh, I gotta go back for the money. Let's go. We need to find higher ground. Don't worry about them. They'll just be going back for the money. We need to get the hell out of here. Are those bullets or is that some weird jumbled sound? Let's go. You go. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I pushed all I can. Come on. You go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them up. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. I know.
the circle, but... Just wait till the time is right. Oh man. Finalist <laughs> bastard. These first person views. Put on the VR headset. What's his health bar? Throw them this way. Punch him, kick him. gonna reach that gun you ain't you lost my sick friend you lost Man. despite my best efforts to the country it turns out I won come on Arthur It is over uh -oh. now, Arthur. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. He's sick. He's dying. He's <coughs> talking crazy. Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. We made it. We won. 
Come on. John made it. He's the only one. <laughs> the rest of us. No. But I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch! Come on! That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books okay. is Jack's. And well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You take You're a bad answer. influence on your mother, boy. Boy. Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel and Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? 
Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Reminds me of Kratos without this boy talk. Hey, boy. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Speed right now, and that's ultra slow. Pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Ain't you that outlaw? you son I'm hoping I can help you I saw the help wanted sign outside sure but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands ain't you son well uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing as long as it's honest and it pays <laughs> times hard mr. Uh, Milton Jim Milton yeah my wife and I and our boy we was robbed mm. a few days ago lucky to get out with our lives we was now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Is that it. a wagon by any chance? I'm sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Okay. Things are looking up. I'm going to run into somebody. Aren't you John Marston? Like, uh, no, John Milton. It's easier if I do it like this. You know, actually stay on the road, making those sharp turns. <laughs> if nothing happens, I'm just gonna transition to when I get there. Mr. 
Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Take that horse if you need it. And don't get yourself hurt. Or hurt them for that matter. <laughs> Come back here! That's my damn wagon! Can you catch this failure? Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. This was a super long episode. I'd like to thank you all for watching. 
comment, subscribe, drop a spirit bomb on that like button. Tell your mom, tell your dad, because I have to get in everyone. And remember, in the words of the great Lei Wu Long, you are not good enough. Later.